Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Nerdy Pappy here. I'm just going to run through a quick skinning tutorial and I'm going to use the new Freightliner Legacy version 2.85, which is the latest as of today, May 6th, 2021. This is going to be the bare bones basic step at a time. Going to go to paint.net. Now I'm assuming that you have already thought about a theme for your truck and acquired the necessary graphics that you want to use. So I haven't done that but uh, that's okay because I'm gonna skip certain parts of this but I'm gonna still cover it all so what we're going to want to do first is we're gonna want to grab a file so we're gonna go here to our Freightliner now we have paint.net image which is a PDN so that's basic to paint or you can use the uh, you can use the PNG if you're not using paint so if you're familiar with another program for uh, messing with graphics then you're welcome to use that and we're just trying to do the quick and dirty easy basic this is a PNG let's just open it it's a background file I know I'm a noob so here we go first thing you want to do add another layer if you want to work with the uh, the template a little bit um, if you find it hard uh, seeing the template some people like to go in here and add a color layer get your paint bucket make sure you got black selected color that then move your background layer above it this one doesn't seem to work too well that way um, so we can undo that of course some people like to use white me I can look at the checkerboard transparent layer it doesn't bother me a bit so what I'm gonna do is go in here name this graphics so we can kind of keep track I'll put a one that's gonna be our first graphics layer now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open some kind of graphics file doesn't matter what it is find something in here that you uh, that you want to mess with we're just gonna grab some graphics just so we can see what it's all about all right we got a uh, looks like a concert kind of theme going here so we don't need that whole thing because that's way too big so I'm gonna go in here with the uh, selection tool and I don't know all the technical names for all these things but I think this is a, like a rectangle uh, selection tool and we're gonna grab that and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna crop to selection there we go that's about what we want notice it's got a transparent background to it already that's what we want so I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna say select all and then I'm gonna say copy and then we go back to the truck and make sure we're on that graphics layer number one and we're going to go edit paste now some people that are a little more familiar with this program they probably know all these neat uh, shortcuts and stuff where they can uh, you know hold a control key or some such like that and probably do this a whole lot faster than what I do but this is what I know so I'm sticking with what I know 
And if you've got any uh, pointers that you want to give people to enhance this video, feel free. It won't hurt my feelings. All right, so we're going to put that on the driver's side of the truck. Now, we want the exact opposite on the passenger side of the sleeper. So we're going to go back to our image, and we're going to say, uh, let's see, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see that a little better. And we're going to go to image, and I think we want to flip this vertically and then we're gonna select all again copy it go back to this layer we're still on the graphics one layer we're gonna say edit paste and then we didn't have to resize this one too much some of your graphics that you import into here might be too small or too large so you might have to do some resizing um, but you can stretch it or shrink it however you need to. So there, basically, that's the mirror opposite on the other side of the truck. Now, like I said, we're keeping this quick, simple, easy. So that's all I'm going to put on this truck. Maybe. Well, let's add another graphics layer. We'll call this Graphics 2. Okay. The reason we do that is because if we have graphics that try to cross over each other, they're just going to create a transparency or interfere with other layers. So if you're stacking layers and let's say you want to put another graphic in here and you don't want it to lap over this when you want it to slide behind this one, then what you can do is put it on a different layer and slide it under this graphics layer so that'll actually put your new graphics underneath your old ones so I'm going to deselect for right now so nothing's selected but uh, let's let's just for the sake of uh, shits and giggles let's just put one more piece of graphics on this thing and uh, call it a day so let's let's grab some of these cool looking blue flames we'll just select all of that copy it I'm not gonna mess around with it too much uh, we're gonna paste it here and then we're gonna see what it looks like in here now remember when you put this on a truck you're gonna have stacks and other things to contend with so if it's gonna have most of your graphics or if you have text on your graphics and you don't want it to get blocked out by the stacks or whatever just kind of keep it centered in there you'll get to learn the truck over time and you'll get to learn what you're dealing with there and it'll be fairly easy to sort out where that goes now I'm happy with that I hope you guys are too I'm just gonna delete the truck layer and now I'm going to hit save as and I don't want to save it in that folder simply because uh, I don't uh, I don't really care to clog that up I'll just go back to Freightliner 1 put it in here but now I'm going to rename it I'm just going to call it Tester 2 I don't know why but anyway first I'm going to save it like this because hey I might want to go back sometime with the layers refined and and redo something so now I'm going to save as again I'm going to keep the same name I'm just going to make it a PNG you can make it a PNG a DDS whatever flatten it and now there you go now it combines everything but we still have the original PDN that we can go back to and change if we want to uh, but this one's now a single layer now what we want to do is we want to go to I use mod studio 2 version 
2020.07 that's my favorite it seems to work the best for me it may not be the exact same as yours but just bear that in mind if you're following along now what we want to do first and this is kind of imperative you go to the file section and you hit new project ATS mod that creates a mod manifest that's going to be important so what we want to do is let's just start right there let's name it but let's keep it lowercase let's keep it lowercase short name and you're the creator so put your name there I'm just gonna call it version 1.0 <laughs> just for shits and giggles and then we're going to call it paint job now what we want to do here this is kind of important you'll see it turning orange that's because you got to have everything correct so we're going to 1.40 which is the current version of uh, ATS and then we go dot and then we put an asterisk that now it's turned white so there's no more caution that means everything's fine so 1.40 now it'll work with just about any version of 1.40 even when they have updates so that's that's pretty important I'm not gonna worry about putting an icon right now because we'd have to go in there and make one but this will tell you uh, what size it needs to be and everything I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me or I'd tell you what size it's supposed to be but uh, you could always look that up anyway then you go to your text session section say tester 2 for Freightliner and I'm not going to keep this skin so I'm just doing this quickly but I want to cover every step try not to skip anything now what I want to do I've got everything is set in here the way I want it so I'm going to just go in here I'm going to go save as and I'm going to call this tester 2 now what I want to do is I want to go to I don't want to save it where I was so I'm gonna go here and I go back to uh, the Freightliner folder where I created my graphic but this is gonna be a mod studio 2 project so we're gonna call this tester 2 project it doesn't matter how it's named this is just completely internal on your computer just so you can always go back to it make changes okay now so far we've got the manifest made created we've got all the information filled in so next step we want to add a template now I'm just gonna do a simple truck skin I'm not gonna worry about advanced with all the accessory parts and all that stuff for now we're just doing a simple skin so now we highlight the, the skin it's gonna ask us first of all we want to select what truck so I already have this Freightliner in there now if I didn't have that Freightliner in there which actually I don't have the 2.85 but I don't think it makes a difference because I think the internal name is the same unless you're doing the advanced stuff and then it's got a different name like sleeper or something it's explained there in the uh, in the template file in the Facebook group but at any rate let's just uh, let's just say that we don't have that truck so we go to SCS tools we go to vehicles and we say load vehicle from mod and then what we want to do is we want to find our truck that we're using here it is right here we say open it's gonna pop up a window here now you'll see that it's got Freightliner Cascadia 2019 brand freight liner blah 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 now you hit save vehicle it's going to want to put it in your user vehicles now if you'll notice I already have this here so I'm not gonna add it again because I've already got this XML file in here but you'll want to save this it should automatically default to your user vehicles folder then you'll hit save once it's saved it will show up in this list now you can close this list and it should show up here we want to select that I put it on a legacy sleeper so I want to select legacy sleeper 
Then we're going to go in here and we're going to go internal name. We're going to call it test T. And I abbreviated that. <laughs> Tester 2. And we're, we got to set a price. So we're going to say just 100 bucks. We're going to say user level 1. I don't want to lock the base color. I want to be able to change the color in the uh, in the paint job window when I'm modifying their uh building the truck all right now we want to go to the next tab which is image you can either drag it and drop it or you can select it here uh let's see, hit browse and then we want to go to our freightliner folder where we have that made it's tester 2 we're going to say there it is now you can see it looks just like the skin that we made icon i'm just going to use the default for now metallic options i want to enable it I'm not going to mess with anything else. I don't feel a need to. I don't know how all that crap works anyway. One of them is going to be a lighter color. One of them is going to be a darker color when it comes in there. I don't mess with mask options. I think that's for if you have to reverse the truck on the other side or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're not getting into all that right now. Now we want to hit save. We've already saved as. So now we just hit save. Once we hit save, it's a good idea to go back. Make sure Legacy Sleeper is still checked. Make sure your mod manifest hasn't changed. Make sure your truck skin hasn't changed. And then just go back here and hit export mod. Now if you haven't saved your truck, I found this out the hard way. If you haven't saved your project, a lot of times when you hit the export button, it's not going to work. So just telling you that I don't know if it has anything to do with anything to be honest uh, we're gonna call this tester 2 for Freightliner legacy this is gonna be our SCS file exporting export successful I want to show it in the folder of course I do we're, this is tester 2 for Freightliner we're gonna copy that we're going to go to our American Truck Simulator mod folder and we're just going to drop it in there. There we go. Done doing it. Now, let's. we're done here. We already saved it. We already exported it. We're done. Close that. Close that. Open American Truck Simulator. Alright, we go to our mods. Do 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 It takes a moment, I know. Okay, here we go. Now we got the tester two. We wanna slide it over here. Now decrease the thing a little bit, save it. Now we're good to go get in the game already <laughs> good deal if you have any questions about any of the steps that I've taken there uh, you know don't be afraid to ask like I said this is kind of the quick and dirty uh, quickie tutorial just to uh, just to nail it down some folks were wanting some help with the uh, beginner steps so there you have it now I'm just checking this real quick I'm at uh, Las Cruces. I'm checking to see if I have a. Yeah, I've got an empty slot. Okay, cool. Well, we're just going to go to the truck dealer then. And uh, we're going to select Freightliner. Select a dealer by online. 
your mileage may vary uh, anyway we're going to customize the configuration so we're just going to try this out really really fast I don't want you to have to sit here all night long and that's not it that's the one that comes with the truck we want tester 2 booyah there you go now we got our little concert goers on the side and we got our cool flames on the back heck yeah yeah I kind of like that that's uh, some really good graphics that I downloaded on a PNG website that has the transparent backgrounds already but uh, uh, I like that that's that's nice anyway that's about it uh, if you got if you got artifacts like this showing up on the front bumper it's because we did a simple skin we didn't the artifacts are up here too we we didn't do any uh, uh, extensive skinning so we did the quick and dirty so what we're gonna want to do is probably make that chrome and uh, we want to change out our bumper to one that doesn't have artifacts so you can go with something like that or, or you can always go back to uh, you can always go back to your uh, mod studio and go back to your paint and paint up your accessory parts and add them in there and that's a a whole different tutorial mark brower has a an amazing uh tutorial video so once you get past this all all this beginner step stuff and you want to move on to uh to do an accessory parts he's using the mac truck in his tutorial and it is really good about how to uh how to go about skinning using accessory parts and all that so uh, anyway, till next time, I appreciate y'all watching and I hope this helps a little bit. Thanks.